Morning guys, it is quarter to nine in the morning and we are in Shimokitazawa at Village Vanguard. They open at 11 a.m. but they've agreed to allow us to do a quote unquote live stream, which you may notice this is a pre-recorded video. It's because we try to do a live stream and the quality turned into potatoes and it was absolute, absolute awful. It was mashed potatoes. And these, by the way, are giant microbes. Like we looked at this dude earlier, the blue one, he's the common cold. This one is mono. That's DNA. So we're gonna go through and do a bit of a walk. I did a video on Tokyo Lens, which I will link up above where we came in and did a bit of exploration of the shop. And I thought it might be nice to come back and do it in live stream format so that we could walk through and explore everything together. And you guys could say, hey, I want to see more of that. I want to see more of that because there's so much to see. And I never know what to focus on when there's this much. Like, do I spend a ton of time looking at all the Among Us stuff or do I not? Do I look at all the food? Do I look at all the clothing, which is this looks like it's all going to be used clothing. We got a little bit of a thrift section up at the front, but unfortunately the live stream just was impossible. So we're just gonna take a nice slow walk through and check out as much as they can, as much as we can, cause English. So you got all your, your piercings and stuff here. Believe it or not, I used to have piercings. I don't anymore. Had an eyebrow piercing and I really enjoyed it until it got ripped out. So there's a fun fact. And down here we got collectibles and cards and you can get walkers here if you want, if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. And here's the snack section, a section that I personally am a huge fan. I call the Kuwaranomachi and all the animal crackers there. And these here, if you haven't had them, are absolutely spectacular. I cannot recommend them enough. All the snacks here seem to be in massively oversized portions, like Arufoto. These are by far one of my favorite snacks for, I, I just love the, the chocolate and cracker as it is, but these are perfect for s'mores when you're doing camping. They're they're, they're s'moresable. You just take two of these, flip them inside, put the marshmallow in between, and you're good. And if you're a huge Crayon Shinchan fan, there's a big old thing of Chocobee right there. As I go through these, honestly, chocolate covered potato chips, wonderful. As I go through these, there's just so much to see, and I never know which ones to focus on. And I always know, I always know that I'm missing out on stuff. And so if I'm going to say it in advance, I'm going to say it within the first five minutes of the video. If I miss out on something that you are super, super into, I am so, so what you get the point though. I'm doing my best. I hope that you're enjoying the content. Okay. I'm really happy about this, this Mika Mochi, because this character here it's actually one of my favorite characters it's called Mikan, and this character is from Ehime. Ehime has two main characters, Buddy-san and Mikan. And everyone's like, "Oh, Buddy-san is the the good one." But personally, I like Mikan much better. Super super cute. And I'm a huge fan of popcorn, but I don't like sweet popcorn like Caramel. I only like savory popcorn. So cheese popcorn, yay. <laughs> we had death sauce. Is this some kind of snack? Ah, kaki no tane. This is a really popular, like Japanese. Uh, this is called kaki no tane. They're like uh, persimmon seed, I guess. Kaki no tane. I don't. Is that the right kaki? And they're they're like little. They're not actual seeds. They're little like chip cracker esque things. And these ones are death sauce flavored. 
along with the bugs that you would have seen from the last video, but the bug section has gotten much smaller. A very large portion of this was bugs when I came in here to do the first video and now it's not. And this is interesting as well, sushi. <laughs> it's again, inside of there is kaki no tane and peanuts. It's not actually sushi. And you get squid in there. It's an assortment pack of little snacks. Okay, I'm gonna slowly back out of the snack section. Also, if you like spicy food and you have not had the opportunity to try these particular spicy Korean noodles, they are off the wall, insane spicy and really, really good. I love spicy stuff, so this is right up my alley. And heading down this way, there's a bit of a section with Haribo here. And I was hoping to find the chikyu gumi, the, the, the balls, the earth ball gummies, but I've also never seen such a big bag of sour, big, chewy nerds. So I'll tell you right now, today, that's on the list. Boom, that is our first purchase right there. We're getting the sour big chewy nerds because I wouldn't be able to not get it. You don't find much nerd stuff in Japan, so I'm really happy about that. And giant thing of caramel popcorn. And every now and then you can find these particular nachos in Japan. Uh, every time I see Haribo gummy bears, it reminds me of the Amazon reviews for the sugar-free Haribo gummy bears. If you haven't seen those reviews yet, do yourself a favor, just type into Google Amazon reviews, Haribo sugar-free gummies, and it is the funniest set of reading that you will do. I cracked up so hard and now it's all I can think when I see Haribo gummies. Spots like this, there are just so many great stickers to see here. Like, like the hamburger or the Shiba Inu. There's just too much, just way too much. Don't even know where to start. So the last time that I came through here, you'll notice things have already changed quite a bit. Things have moved around. Around here last time, I believe there were some tamagotchi and I never ended up getting one of the tamagotchi here. I had kind of thought about it and somebody must have read my mind because a patron later on sent me a tamagotchi. And so I now, I now have one. I'm, I'm currently taking care of a tamagotchi. And last time I came through, I avoided a lot of the character stuff because Japan and a lot of the agencies have become really strict with having their characters featured on videos and whatnot. But you know what? If we get flagged, we get flagged. So we're just going to walk through because like many of you, I love all the Ghibli stuff and I want to be able to show it. And that's what I'm going to do. So if they want to take my video down, that will be a video all on its own. I will let you know if it gets taken down, who flagged what and why it got taken down. But for now, we're going to enjoy this Kiki's Delivery Service towel holder because that's a thing and it should be a thing. It 100% should be. And I love it. And it gets really tight as we get in here. So I'm going to try to squeeze through without knocking anything over. And I feel, I always, I remember the episode of The Office where they waited for it to hit right in the corner. And I'm always like, come on, you have to have done that at some point in your life, right? Just waiting. Oh, so close. That was a double bounce, but waiting for it to touch right into the corner. Okay, we're gonna, we could waste an entire day doing that. I've also for some time been thinking of slowly bringing back 
maybe every couple months, one or two Tokyo Lens podcasts, but here on the Tokyo Lens Explore channel. You see, I used to record the podcasts in my office in this secure audio setup and everything. And we got all the Pokemon stuff right here. Is that, is that a Pokemon? Did not know. Did not know there was a Pokemon unicorn. Things have evolved, changed, grown. But I have kind of traded in the Tokyo Lens podcast for the Tokyo Lens Explore channel. The time that I would have put into recording podcasts has now gone into doing Explore content for you guys. And I thought every now and then, maybe while walking or cycling through Tokyo, we could combine the two. Do it as a podcast, pick a specific topic, and go over it in detail. And we do have more Pokemon stuff over here. Since we were potato quality earlier, I do want to share that this is one of my favorites. This Ditto cushion. That's right. You can sit on Ditto. And it's all squishy and soft and wonderful. And then for those who have been enjoying the Pokemon manhole hunt. That's right. These are Pokemon manhole mug and coasters it's got a little map of where it's from and then it's got the the manhole cover itself there there's actual pokemon manhole cover goods now that that right there that was smart marketing right from the beginning they knew what they were up to who's not gonna want that i don't know maybe you don't maybe you're like no i don't and that's your answer and this is very squishy and soft. So I was kind of hoping to do this as a live stream in the sense that we could really explore things together. And then, you know, maybe I could pick up a thing or two that was like super popular and then, you know, do it as a giveaway or something like that. And uh, the just the Wi-Fi was not an option either. Just nothing worked. And I'm so heartbroken that this stream didn't come together, but I have no option but to smile about it. So that's what we're doing. This is a closer peek at the unchi yaki, the, the poop yaki, the poop donut maker. That's right. You can make poop shaped donuts if that's something that you are so inclined to do. Or you can make yourself some clear ice balls because that's also a thing that you're probably inclined to do. Or this super fancy home bar server. So, but if bringing back the Tokyo Lens podcast in the form of explore videos once in a while is something that you would be interested in doing, I'd be more than happy to see about doing that. It's, uh, it's been quite a bit with the, the main channel putting out a video roughly every week plus trying to keep up with uh, there's so many places i want to explore so keeping up with that on the explore channel has been kind of doubling all of that and then the the time that i had in the office for the podcast any time that i spend in the office now is pretty much just editing or taking naps seriously those are the the two things that i would say i do the most in the office is edit and take naps and these gel cushions, they, they look, they're, they're just not that, I just don't imagine them being that comfortable at all. No, nope. no, thank you. There's some lovely, strange music over here. So that's also a thing. And last time when I came through, they're usually playing on a little screen. Where's the screen? There it is. There it is. Last time when I came through, we had them shut off everything. Oh, is this soap? What do you got? Hair from Syria. Savon del Al... I'm not going to read that properly, so we're going to go ahead and put that down. And then all of the, all of the wonderful butt products, like the butt soap. 
soap for your butt. That's right. That That's just purely for your butt. So if that's the thing that you want, and then there's a whole series of bath bombs and whatnot here. Here, Here's more normal ones that aren't shaped like poop. Baby Castera. I have a sandwich maker. This one is a waffle maker, by the way. Don't want you to get confused, which I absolutely love. And then your Curious George and Pac-Man bath balls. Actually, that's pretty cool. Pac-Man bath ball. What comes out of it? I guess a character, but it's just showing like an 8-bit drawing of it. I don't know what actually comes out. These ones are turtles, though. So if you've ever wanted a bath ball that's a turtle, then there it is. It's official. You can officially have a turtle bath ball. So you can thank me later for all you turtle bath ball fans who that has been your life goal and dream. Now, the, it's a fairly big chunk of the store that's also nothing but books because this is supposed to be like an exciting bookstore. But again, another bath bomb. It's a, a poop, a poop bath bomb. There we go. Let's, there it is, a poop bath bomb. And the exciting bubble camera, which I, I still kind of want that. What does it do? We didn't actually really take time to look at it last time, did we? Does it just, does it just blow bubbles? I think it just blows bubbles. It seems like it might do it on a rotating thing. So you just set it down and it spins and blows bubbles. Yeah, it's got batteries in there. I think that's exactly what it does. It just spins and blows bubbles. And they got the magic bubble bath. So I don't know what's magic about it, but I'll admit that I am curious. They've, they've pulled me in with their marketing just by calling it magic suddenly. <clears throat> and this, this just sounds wrong. A white bomb. I'm assuming it's hair bleach. Mostly because it says high bleach set and then has pictures of hair. Two and two together. Sherlock level deduction is what is happening here. And then let's slip into... The, there's an entire section just for aloe products as well. Now, you may notice the absence of one thing that I haven't brought up yet, which is... Ta-da! The Shamisen plushie, which I've managed to pull the, the bottom off of right before displaying it. Very well done, Norm. The, the Shamisen... Really, Norm? Come on. So, the Shamisen plushie. My Shamisen plushie, which I've twisted and warped. And this here is set to be going on sale here in Village Vanguard. We just walked through the book section, by the way. But unfortunately, due to international shipping delays and everything like that, it has been held off and delayed. It was supposed to be in stores from December, but it is the, the delivery does not look like it's going to be December at all. December has come and gone. We are in January and they're saying, oh, yeah, maybe maybe a shipment in March or April or possibly May. And so that is, as you can imagine, incredibly vague and wonderful. So huge thanks to global shipping delays for that. But we're all kind of in it together. It's, you know, it's affecting everybody. So it's unfortunate, but it is the way it goes. And then you get all the, wow, that was a ding dong. So I really love I really love any Kirby stuff. He's so squishy and soft and he makes me happy. And Splatoon, has anybody played it? Is it a good game? Is it worth checking out? Is it worth getting? Let me know. We'll loop around here. So a panda mask, which if you watched any of the super early Tokyo Lens videos, like before I actually started Tokyo Lens and just had a channel 
then you'll know why that's funny. And then there's this dude, an axolotl. So in one of the videos that I did that featured a tiny apartment, one of the gentlemen had an axolotl or two axolotls as pets. And he said, they don't really move. They're blind and they're just in there, but they're nice pets. And in some places, axolotls are impossible to get because they're an endangered and protected species, but they're very, very commonly bred as pets in Japan. So there's a lot of them here. And sorry, just me looking at all the playing cards because I love playing cards. These ones, although they look like normal bicycle cards are actually Doraemon. So Japan does that a lot. They'll like hide some branding like Doraemon or something. But even this entire section has changed. I was really looking forward to coming back and being like, hey guys, here's the, the entire area that has my my shamisen plushies and it just didn't didn't plan didn't pan out on time but if you do want to come and get some stark industry stuff this is your place it is all right there tons of marvel merch around here which means i th before it was around the corner so i feel like i feel like it's been moved they've put in so much effort just into moving stuff around again books and whatnot an entire section on star wars books I have so many questions and there's so much I want to read. Huge Star Wars fan. I miss <clears throat> the yearly Star Wars movies that were coming out. I really enjoyed that. It was an exciting time of life to have episode seven in Solo and all the Rogue One and all of those. I really, I don't know if you're a big Star Wars fan. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, there's an entire Super Mario Brothers section over here, and longtime viewers will know how much love I have for. Oh my god! That is a Super Mario Brothers soap dispenser, and it spits out a star on your hand. It is so unnecessarily large, and I feel like that would almost certainly break. It just looks like it would break. But I also really, really love it. And this might be the other thing that we buy today. And a Game Boy notebook. So you can keep notes on your games. What? Loving it. And despite this being a premiere, I know that the chat has probably been full of people going, are we live? What is going on? And the plan was a live stream again. Uh, but a huge thanks to the moderator squad who has been helping out with everything. And a huge thanks to those of you who even in these premieres are still kind enough to drop in super chats and all of that. Again, I'm really sorry that this one wasn't the live stream that it was meant to be i really really wish it was and i kind of think this is i i've never seen this it feels like it is 100 percent not japanese uh it very seriously says on the back that this is not a toy it is a carry snack tub so you can keep your snacks and whatnot in there and then have a drink down below so that's a thing, did not know. And this is one of the things that this particular, okay, so they do still have some of the Marvel stuff. This is one of the things that this particular Village Vanguard is known for is having a lot of non-Japanese goods. And this area, I'm sure just by looking at it, you can already kind of smell it through your screen, even without the high-tech smell of vision which by the way, Japanese, some Japanese theaters, I don't know, I haven't been in to North America in years now, so I don't know what North American theaters are like, but some Japanese theaters now have smell-o-vision, actual real smell-o-vision. And because some people are in the clothes, we will take a peek at the clothes and the bag section in here. Like a shirt like this camera shirt here is about 49 bucks in there. Same thing with uh, Captain Zebra shirt here. There's this like 4DX theater 
Do you guys have those where you're from? Do you have the 4DX theater? The 4DX theater, not only does it move the, the chair and whatnot, which would be wonderful for... <laughs> and not only does it move the chair and whatnot, but it like blows wind and it blows mist in your face. And it like, it, yeah, it, it sounds like, well, I have not gone to one yet, but they, uh, they pump out smells and everything. And I think this should be my new raincoat. I think that'd be an amazing rain poncho to have. It feels very appropriate. I actually really like the colors. If it was a little bolder instead of pastels, I'd actually consider going for it. Standard rain poncho. I don't have a rain poncho and I really feel I should. I feel it's one of those things that on my travels I've been lacking that would probably add to things. And this will be the next thing that we get today before I leave is neon socks because it makes me feel like it's 1994 and I love it so much. You know, one of my favorite memories from being in a kid was, and I just, I, I still chase this, that feeling so often. When I was young, they had one of those, uh, like those giant trucks set up with a whole bunch of N64s on the background and it parked outside of a giant parking lot or inside of a giant parking lot. And I went, and played N64 there one day with my dad. And it was my first time ever. I played Mario 64 and just jumping into the paintings was just the most exciting feeling ever. And I really, really enjoyed it. And so here we just have like normal, normal brands like Champion and stuff like that. But I enjoyed that so much. And N64 quickly became my absolute favorite system and to this day i still play n64 every chance i get on a semi regular basis it is the main system that i have in my house and i love it of course of course like not even arguable best game being goldeneye that's right i pause for dramatic effect there we go. Okay. I think for the most part that has brought us through pretty much the entire store. Like we have some, some branded t-shirts and whatnot here that we didn't really cover. We got some Jaws t-shirt. We got the Among Us stuff here. This brunch brother whatever that is and an entire section by the way for stranger things like this whole section here which i did miss is just stranger things goods with one random venom for some reason so you can get stranger things figures if that's what you want stranger things figures but the vast majority of the rest of the shop is books. Because again, the concept for Village Vanguard was to be an exciting bookshop. And I think it definitely holds up to that. But this is where we are going to wrap things up today. So thank you guys all so much for joining. As you can see, it is, it is just about time. That is not accurate at all. Uh, actually, is it? No, it's not. It's not. And <laughs> I appreciate all the love and support, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this little Village Vanguard walkthrough. Hopefully, we can do more stuff like this in the future. And the rest of your day is absolutely beautiful. And you know, I will see you again real soon. Bye, guys.